Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and a Photoshop Elements 11 tip and trick. Now today in Photoshop Elements, as I'm sure the title says, we are going to make a popping sky using a blending mode. And I think this is a really great way to make the sky pop. And I'm going to show you just how we do that. So first of all, this is what we're going to end up with, this sky right here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to just go to edit and revert. Now with that said, we're going to first go and we're going to go ahead and duplicate our background layer. Now we do that simply by holding command or control on your PC and J and that will duplicate that background layer. Next what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and use this little half moon right here. And that's called a fill or adjustment layer. It's right here at the top now on elements. If you're using elements nine and 10, that's okay. It's down at the bottom, but now they moved it up here at the top. So we'll click on that and we are going to go to hue and saturation. Once we get into hue and saturation, we're going to actually just click on hue and just move it to the left and right a little bit, but we don't want that sky to become purple. We want to keep it a very blue tint like that. And then the saturation, we're going to just oversaturate it. Now what we're looking at here is don't worry down here in the ground if this is all getting oversaturated. I know it looks kind of cool, but what we're doing is we're going to work with that in just a few minutes. So what we're doing here actually is getting that sky to be a little bit more saturated. Once you get that done, just simply click on the little X here and we're going to close that. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do now is now we're going to use a gradient because we can see that this is actually a mask. So we're going to use a gradient now and we're going to use black and we're going to reveal on this white what's underneath of it. So if we use our black, our color swatch over here on the left, our foreground color is black. We're going to go ahead and click on our gradient tool. And when you do that, I want you to first of all, go ahead and create a new gradient. Now, how do we create a gradient? Just simply go down here to the tools menu on the bottom, right under gradient, and we click on the edit button. Now in here, we're going to go ahead and create this actual gradient. So what I want you to do is take the black over on the color stop on the left, the black color stop, move it halfway over to the right. And then we're going to take the white color stop and move it over towards the left. We're going to move that a little bit more. And what you're going to see here, right in the middle where this little ball is, there's a midpoint. And that midpoint, we want to leave that gradual midpoint of dark to light. Now what we're going to do is under name, click on name take that out and let's click on half or just type half tone and then add the presets. The reason is we're going to have this preset in here so we can use this in future lessons. So now we have that gradient. We're going to simply click on OK. Now what's going to happen is you can see now it's on the left. It is black and on the right it is white. You can change those down here by going to reflected gradient or linear gradient. Once again, you can see how that's set up. So it's black over white. This is our new gradient we did right here called half tones. What I want you to do now so you can draw a straight line with the gradient is start at the bottom of your picture, hold your shift key down and just pull straight up. We're going to go right up into the sky here. I would recommend going up above the tree line. And when you leave go, what happens is over here on your layer mask on the right, back in our layers panel, you can see now where it's half black. When we did that, we we're revealing what's underneath. So we're getting rid of that saturation effect on the ground that was there, but we're leaving the sky. So again, we're going to do it again, just pull up. And what you're doing is we're trying to get above these tree lines here and we're getting our tones back in the trees. Again, I'm just holding the shift key down, just left clicking and pulling up. 
And don't worry, I know what you're saying right now, and I can already hear you saying it. If you're saying, Jack, look, you took out too much. Look at all this in here. All of our effect that we created is gone. Well, that's okay, because if you paint with white, that's going to put that effect back. So let's flip our color back over here. Or you hit the letter X. You hit the letter X, it'll switch that over. So we're going to switch that now to white is our foreground. Grab a paintbrush. And what I want you to do is just simply paint with white and watch that effect come right back in. Now we do have to watch how close we get to the trees here because we don't want to paint the effect back into the trees. But if you do, that's okay. Anytime you do that, because then you can simply paint again with black. So I'm going to do that purposely. I'm going to show you how this works. So again, we made a little mistake right here and right over in here. So we'll just hit our X key again, switch that back. We're just going to paint this again right here with our black just to close that up. Now, once you get this done to even make this effect more uh, more to make this guy more blue to make this guy more popping what we're going to do is we are going to change our layer blending mode which is this little pull down here and if we click this we're going to change the blending mode to color burn and when you do that look how that sky now is popping with even more blue so again this is normal and now we'll change it to color burn And there you go. And if you see it actually burnt the top of the uh, trees in here, what you'd want to do then is, you're right, you would paint again just a little bit on that with your black. Just to take some of that effect out. And get it back to where it needs to be. So there you go, folks. You've learned in this lesson how to make your sky pop using a blending mode. You've also learned how to actually build yourself a new gradient, which is a very uh, handy thing to know how to use. And then we learned more about layers and how to layer our layers upon layers and what each layer does to help us create the image that we want to create. If you like this video tutorial, please go to my website www.jackstechcorner.com There's a great DVD collection there with uh, edits just like this and many, many more. And uh, these will work in all of your different versions of Elements, whatever you might be using out there. So once again, that's www.jackstechcorner.com We'd be uh, very happy to see you over there. Uh, visit the website, pick up one of the DVDs. That definitely helps me to keep producing these shows. Also, join us uh, on our Facebook group. And if it's a Facebook group, just look for Jack's Tech Corner. Go ahead and join, and I will approve you very, very quickly. Thank you very much for watching. I am very uh, humbled that you stopped by. And hopefully you keep learning more here about Photoshop Elements 11 and all your other versions. So I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Until then, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.